This is a peculiar moon within Saturn's rings. Some say it resembles a disc-shaped spacecraft. Others say it looks more like a dumpling. But that's not the closest resemblance. Actually, its bigger brother, Atlas, is shaped even more like a flying saucer. So, what about this unusually shaped celestial body? How exactly did they form? What special celestial bodies are hidden within Saturn's rings? Could they really be spacecraft placed there by an alien civilization? In our solar system, besides Saturn, the celestial bodies with rings also include Jupiter, Uranus, and Neptune. But none of them have Saturn. Distinct characteristic of such bright rings, especially when you see Saturn's rings, how they work, is still a mystery. Saturn is mainly composed of seven main rings and the A ring besides the B ring, the most unique ring. What makes it special is that this ring is not only bright, but also has the most gas. The inner edge of the A-ring starts at the Cassini division and extends into the A-ring, to a 325-kilometer wide gap called the Enki Gap. Its outermost boundary is a massive structure called the Keeler Gap. This zone spans a whopping 14,600 kilometers, even larger than Earth's diameter. And within the Enki Gap, named after Johann Enki, lies a flying saucer-shaped celestial body, Pan, also known as Saturn's 18th moon. It's a strange celestial body about 35 kilometers in diameter. It's like a shepherd, maintaining the shape of the Enki Gap and clearing out particles that enter the ring, keeping it hollow, and thousands of kilometers away from it. In the Keeler Gap, there also exists teardrop-shaped or chaotic celestial body, Daphnis, or Saturn XXXV. Images taken by the Cassini Pro show Daphnis flying through the gap in the rings, influenced by its slightly eccentric orbit, creating ripples at the edges of the gap. But just at the outermost edge of the A-ring, there's a moon even more saucer-shaped than Pan. Atlas is more like a boundary guardian, maintaining the state of the A-ring, keeping it unaffected by the other rings. Of course, back when technology wasn't as advanced, that is, in the photos sent back by the Cassini Pro, these moons looked just like alien spacecraft docked on Saturn's ring, docked on the rings of Saturn. Some scientists at the time even believed that they were spacecraft from a distant past alien civilization, instrumental spacecraft, possibly discarded during interstellar travel while mining Saturn or collecting energy, and from the images, the bulging structures on these moons and the hollow, ring-shaped gaps further strengthen some people's beliefs. I have to say, this hypothesis is quite exciting, although later observations discovered that they were not alien spacecraft, scientific theory suggests they might be remnants of a large satellite tidally disrupted. Their rapid rotation constantly draws in surrounding particles, eventually forming a bulging structure around their equators. But despite this explanation, most people still believe their existence is far more complex. Which, indeed, it is. There are some other science fiction-like celestial bodies in the Saturn system, like Mimas, which is considered to be a derelict Death Star from Star Wars. From this perspective, it's not wrong that humans have such a rich imagination because we cannot deny extraterrestrial civilizations don't exist, because humans have only ever been as far as the moon, no life has been found in the solar system, that doesn't mean that in the universe, humans are the only civilization, maybe extraterrestrial civilizations have already passed through the solar system, and we just haven't discovered them.